Hello, welcome back to We Are City Channel for FC 24 Manchester City career mode. I believe we're on about episode 10 now, aren't we, in the series. Kicking things off today with a cup game in the Emirates FA Cup against Blackburn at home. We're then going to simulate Crystal Palace at home, play Leicester City away. We're going to play Leeds at home and we're going to play Bayer Leverkusen. We've drawn the Champions League knockout stage at home, leaving us to the end of the month of February with Nottingham Forest and West Ham United in the Carabao Cup final. That will be in the next episode. Well, Blackburn were in the Premier League not too long ago. This is the side they're going with. Maglion starts in goal. It's Rankin Castillo, Carter, Tirente, and then John and Boss starts left back. He's been signed in this January transfer window from Borussia Mönchengladbach. That's a big move for them. Captain Travis and Mavano in the midfield too with Hedges, Buckley and Therese Dolan, former City youth player, in behind Tiggs up top. Here's Duarte, Pickering, Leonard, Hayes, Kane, Tronstad and Garrett to the bench. They've won one and lost one so far in I think that might be the FA Cup this season. Uh, Dolan is the key player. They like to turn teams quickly, play very much counter-attacking football. They like to defend with a low block and, and sit back. And we're going to have to try and break them down today. I think that is going to be the big part of today's game. So this is a sign for Blackburn today. Spike Britt starts and go with Mateusz Nunes, Goyhi, Max Elaine and Barco, the back four. Captain today will be, in fact, I think Martin Zermendi, who starts in the midfield alongside Maximo Perone with Eze up top or in front. It is Savvy on the right and Dalla on the left and Liam Delap through the middle. We've got Alvarez, Zabayos, Makati, Luis, Yankuto, Baptiste and Diaz on the bench. Zabayos, Makati, Baptiste and Diaz, the four that are most likely to get on today, I think, at any point in the game. Everyone else is rested for future games in today's episode. So arriving at the Etihad Stadium, Manchester City, that might be one of those games again for City that by half-time the game is over. I think Blackpool, Blackburn will give us a bit of a difficult game as the two sides come out to the field. It is FA Cup action. All eyes on Eze. He is perhaps one of the most spectacular players in City starting 11 today. And I thought perhaps fouled. Mateusz Nunes forcing Blackburn back. And he's won it here, Mateusz Nunes. And across to Liam Delap to give City the lead. Massive mistake at the back by Blackburn. You can't make mistakes and make decisions like that against Manchester City. And they make that mistake straight away. And Liam Delap scores to make it 1 0. Big mistake. Good pressing from Mateusz Nunes. Straight into the Portuguese man who is now seems to be a right-back, fully-fledged right-back. He's played there pretty much all season. And Liam Delap, lovely touch onto the right foot. Into the back of net. And Blackburn are 1-0 down already here. Massive mistake by Jordan Boss, I think it was, at left-back. A player that was a possible player we could sign. He's been signed from Borussia Mönchengladbach to the Championship side. Obviously, not as good as we think he might be. And Brits sees Joel Indalit in so much space here. And off goes Joel Indalit. And he's quick. And he's chased. And Dala's gone past the challenges here. And Dala. And Dala. And Dala. Keeper makes the save. Just. Malagon. Just makes the save. Dala can't cut that one out. Max Elaine can't win it. Ball through to Therese Dolan. Here. Chance of Blackburn. A very good chance. Dolan a little back heel. Back into Dolan with another back heel. Dolan. Options in the box here. Great goal by Blackburn. City 1. Blackburn 1. And they equalise here through hedges. That's poor defending by City. Good play from Dolan. And then Valentin Barco and Zermendi at the far post. Don't watch the run of hedges. They finished it off and in the FA Cup, Blackburn level. Zermendi. Maximo Piron. De Lapp. Has a back through to Leon De Lapp here off the crossbar by De Lapp. Sees Ndala. De Lapp. Back to Savio. Back into De Lapp here. Good save by Magdalene at the near post. Good play by City. Corner ball. Savio in space. Found Savio. Mateusz Nunes. Eze. Eze. Eze on the turn. Good block by the defender. Laid it off. I close it down, City. Don't quite do that, Spike Brits. Reaction save. Bottom corner. Well, Blackburn are playing pretty well here today. I'll give them that. They're playing pretty well here today, Blackburn. After that initial early mistake, I thought, going to whitewash them. It's the far post. City keep it out. Eight. There's eight. And Dala. To the lap. Liam the lap with a strike. Why the post by the lap? Well, he one that hit the cross by the lap. He's had two very good chances. Running towards Savio. Savio, good running from Savio. Into the lap here. Chance for the lap. Good save by the keeper. Behind for a call, he's had a few chances today to lap. 
created plenty of chances for him. Not to McAtee. McAtee! Nunez! Oh! Hold on, McAtee. On to Eze. On to the lap's chest. Liam the lap! Oh my word! The lap wide. Barco. I haven't seen Barco yet. Oh, what a ball by Barco into Indala. Off goes Joel Indala. Indala. Great play. Savio blocked. Savio again. Two on Manchester City. Finally we score and it's number seven. Savio with a finish. Boy, do we make it difficult. But in the end, we get it in the back of the net. On to Savio. First shot is blocked twice. Falls straight back to him. And he doesn't miss the next one. Hits it with power. Laces through that one to Savio. Into the back of that. I think that's only his fourth or fifth this season. I, I want him to get double figures, goals and assists this season. I, I want to set that target for pretty much all our forward line. They want to get a combined 20. The room from Delap here. Delap does score this time. 3-1. 3-1 City. We're starting to run right on Blackburn now. Good play and a brilliant goal from Liam Delap. Who celebrates in front of the City fans here. Nice ball from McAtee. Good touch, good first and second touch final lap. The third one just sets it for him. And the fourth one puts it in the back of the net for 3-1. Wide and straight to Valentin Barco. And he just wants to drive Barco straight away there. Nicely done. And Dala feeds Liam Delap. Good hold up play by Delap. Brilliant from Delap into Indala. Indala! Good save by Magalon, the goalkeeper. Back out to Mateusz Nunes. Savio. Little flick. Savio! Great play. And Dala at the far post. 4-1 City. Lovely flick by Mateusz Nunes and Savio there. And Joel and Dala gets a goal for himself now. Good play. Good hit. Good save. And Dala there for the rebound. Mark Goy is tired so Ruben Diaz will come on now. But a very good goal from Joel and Dala. At that far post. In the right place at the right time. That's all I ask of him. We're going to bring Yamal Baptiste as well on. For Valentin Barco. Into Baptiste. Flick through to Indala. Indala. Delap! Off the crossbar again by Delap. Maximo Perone blocked away. That's the first time Delap's at the crossbar today. Could have had a hat trick easy. Counter Blackburn. Gets a foot in initially. Back through to Reese Dolan. What a challenge by Mateusz Nunes. Brilliant. By Mateusz Nunes. And he drives. And he drives Mateusz Nunes. And into Delap. And across to Joel Indala with the left foot. Slice wide by Indala. And City can't get it. And that'll be full time. And start the episode with a 4 win in the FA Cup. Manchester City play really well. A deserved 4-1 win. But we should have scored way more goals. I think we disappointed the forward line that he didn't beat. Hey, sports came out of match to Mateusz Nunes with an 8.6 rating. It was a colossus from fullback. We saw great, great performances from James McAtee with an 8.3. Savio with an 8.0. And Dallow with an 8.0 on the left-hand side. But I'm going to give it to Liam the lap. Two goals up top today. He absolutely ran the show. And it's such a shame he couldn't have scored more goals because he deserved them. And so Mendy was forced off due to injury. But it's only a bruised elbow injury. Only five days without the Spaniard in midfield. We are looking at increasing our firepower going into the future seasons. If we possibly can do with the transfer ban over us. And we've done so well with former River Plate players. Another one here in Lucas Beltran. We've signed Alvarez. We've signed Echivere from River Plate. He's playing in Serie A for Fiorentina. Nine goals and four assists in 14 appearances so far this season for the Argentina, which is pretty impressive. He stands at five foot nine. The striker is a relentless poacher, displaying exceptional dribbling skills and relentless pace. A tenacious aggressor, always fighting for opportunities. He combines technical finesse with predator instinct, making him a formidable goal scoring threat. Now, he looks like um, someone in the mold of maybe an Alvarez or a Tevez or someone like that, a real, real hungry centre forward. Not really one that you're going to say he's going to score lots of goals, but when he gets his chances, he does pretty well. Nine goals so far in 14th appearances. He's a real fighter. I love his mentality. I love his runs in behind and everything he could bring to the side from what we've seen in his scout report. So looking at this player certainly is high up on my list of options as a strike of the future, as a backup to Julian Alvarez with battling with the lap and so on. I do think we need another player in that. We have been within the January transfer window, of course, insignificant to Manchester City as we are serving 
a two-year transfer ban that we are appealing to try and get to reduce to one year. So that means it's next season we can make signings. And you see the top deals on transfer deadline day are as follows. Ibrahim Akanate, now a Juventus player, is now a Letico Madrid player. Moved for 83.3 million to the Spanish side. Nico Williams has joined Manchester United for 82 million from Bayer Leverkusen. What a big sign and what a sign that is. And Kochu has joined Newcastle for 62.5 million from Benfica. So some big, big deals in the January transfer window. What makes us Crystal Palace at home in the Premier League, which we simulated as they're right near the bottom of the Premier League table, and they gave us a really good game. 3-2 winners with an 88th minute winner from our striker, Julian Alvarez. Docu opened the score in the first minute. They reply in the 26th with uh, us and Edward. It was then Alvarez in the 50th to give City a 2-1 lead. A late goal from Anahi in the 80th minute, pretty much, to make it 2-2. And then the final goal comes from Julian Alvarez in the 80th minute to give Manchester City a 3-2 win. And no surprises as man of the match goes to Julian Alvarez with a double. And that last minute winner in the, uh, with a 9.8 rating. Big win for City, but two goals conceded at home to Palace. Interesting news here coming out about our under-21s coach, Sergio Busquets. He's wanted by Barcelona and Real Sociedad as the first-team coach for those two clubs. Apparently, they're already looking and may replacing Xavi, and um, the, the, the Real, Real Betis might be involved as well with this one. But Real Sociedad and Barcelona are the teams mentioned. He's been doing very, very good for our under-21s. They've been doing fantastically well, playing good football. He's learned from Pep Guardiola. He's learned from many managers in his time, Sergio Busquets. And maybe, I mean, a good move for him would be to Girona. Maybe the club internally says, listen, Sergio, don't move to Barcelona or Real Sociedad. We'll get you the move to Girona. And if you impress in the Liga, then maybe one day when Roberto Di Zerbi decides that it's time over at Manchester City, we could bring him in as City coach as well. So keep an eye on this space. Barcelona Real Sociedad, very interested in our under-21s coach. But we are looking to keep him around. And if he wants to move to first-team level coaching after learning his trade under-21s, Girona is the way to go, I think, for Sergio Busquets. Yes. Well, City currently still sits in second place in the Premier League, but Liverpool, Manchester United, Newcastle, West Ham United seem to have dropped off massively, and now it's looking like it's just going to be a City-Arsenal title race, with one point separating us at the top of the table. We go away to 15th place Leicester City, again for City to try and get three more points. Well, this is Enzo Ansgaris, Leicester City side. Rakovic starts and goal with Norton, Cuffey, Medina, Sutar, and Nuno Shantos the back four. Captain Winks, Baybrook, and Onya Dicker in the midfield three. McAteer on the right, Mavidi on the left, and Cannon through the middle of the bench. Totti Gomez, Zawalska, Fran Navarro, Lamptey, Patson, Dacca, Ward, and Walters. Leicester, three draws in their last five. One win and one loss. Looking to get back to winning ways under Enzo Mansquera. This is the Manchester City side today. Edison starts and goal with Jan Kuto, Captain Stones, to uh, Callum Doyle and Barco at the back four. Grish, Echivere and Rico Lewis in the midfield three with Alvarez up top. It's Docu on the right, Yamal Musiala on the left. On the bench, Savio, Eze, De Bruyne, Zubamendi, Nunez, Vardial and Gohi. No Diaz, no Alain, no Baptiste, Perón, Dalat, Makati, Zabayos or Ndala. Ndala up to 76 rated by the way, but Bob still his... Development has decreased massively because, again, he's injured at 23 years of age, still only 77. And Phil Foden also decreasing. He has gone down to 88 rated now from 90. So there is Julian Alvarez, 19 goals so far in the Premier League. The goal record is 38 competition record, achieved by our own player, Erling Carland. Manchester City in the white, Leicester City in the blue. Live from the King Power Stadium, Roberto Di Zerbi's side up against a former City coach in Enzo Mansquera's team, Musiala. Musiala passed Norton Cuffey like he's not there. Musiala. Musiala tries to bend one. And Doku couldn't finish at the far post. Good save by Rakovic. Corner City. Really shim. Musiala with a header. John Stones at the far post. And Captain Stones makes it 1-0 Manchester City. Well, he scored a few goals as well this season, Captain Stones. And City are in front here. Musiala with the assist. Nods on to Stones at the far post. And there he is, the centre-back. Ahead of everyone else. And nods it past Rakovic to give Manchester City the 1-0 lead. Great goal from Stones, who only gets his second of the season. But he has scored a few this season. It's on to Callum Doyle. Way to Barco. Musiala in space here. Musiala. Musiala on the left foot. Rakovic makes a save. Bad attempt by Musiala, but he gets it back. Here's John Stones for City. Stones for City. Good ball through. Alvarez! Oh! Taken out by the keeper referee. Well, Rakovic takes him out there. And in my mind, that should be a penalty. 
A fantastic finish though. Rich and Doyle in there. <laughs> Chance again. Over the bar by Edison. Mavidi this time. Rich and Doyle couldn't decide he was going to get that one. This time Edison. Simple one for Eddie. Drops it. Rolls it to Grealish. Jeremy Doku. Who's got so much pace. Doku. Sutar in there. Doku passed him. Doku. Doku. Musiala. Chance for Echivede. What a save by Rakovic. Offside anyway. Mavidi. It's pacing behind Stones. But Braver doesn't go into it. Mavidi. Lovely pace. Mavidi. Oh, Edison beating his near post. That is embarrassing goalkeeping from Edison. And Leicester City equalise. Should do better here. Oh, Edison. Level up City. Oh, Rico Lewis. Lovely win. Grealish. Echivede. Alvarez. Back to Echivede. Oh. Why the post? Or was it saying? I'm not sure. Half time 1 1. Claudio should score that. He should score that. He cannot be dropping points at the King Power Stadium, really. Doyle. Good running from Callum Doyle. Brilliant from Callum Doyle. Doyle. Ducky with a chance off the post. And they get it away again, do Leicester City. Over everyone. He had no one in the box waiting for it, really. Greybrook. Greybrook can't win it. To the edge of the box they go. Work it back out. Chance of McAteer. Big double hand save from Edison. Leicester City. Callum Doyle's bump. Chance to near post again. Barco beaten. The outstretched leg of Edison makes the save. He's made some big saves today. From Andika. Oh, what a turn by Mavidi. And City in big trouble here is Mavidi. Mavidi. Doyle slides in. Mavidi with a strike. Save from Eddie again. Doku heads it away. Back into the middle. Doku straight back to Leicester again. Edison with another save. Wow. Let's get all this game, City. He's got runner from Barco. Barco well played. Musiala. Musiala. He brought it on the edge of the box here. Why to Jan Kuto. Far post. Alvarez in there. Sutar away. Stones back out. Bad pass by Stones. Vardiol. Bad pass to Rico. He's actually done so well to spin on it. Lovely drive from Rico. Why to Musiala. Rolls one into Alvarez here. Julian. Alvarez. Oh, ref. Tackle coming in him late there. Alvarez still fighting for it. Falls to Musiala. Brilliant. Musiala. Echivere! Oh my god! How has he missed that? Here's Claudio Echivere who's going to make up for mistakes now. Echivere. White to Savio. De Bruyne. Alvarez. City are off again here. Musiala at the far post, is he? Alvarez! Saved by Rakovic once again. Musiala. No intention of getting in the box there again. Jan Kuto, lovely win. Kuto. Musiala. Oh, and away again by Leicester. Full-time whistle goes. A 1-1 draw. How have we not won that game? Musiala with the end chance there. Echivere as well. With a sitter. Manchester City drop points. And only get a 1-1 draw at the Kicking Power Stadium. How? How? Well, Scare Report here on a player that our scouts have just absolutely fallen in love with. Federico Redondo, a holding midfielder. He's played 20 games so far at the halfway point for Girona. Two goals and four assists for them. The composed holding midfielder exudes serenity, dictating play with remarkable intelligence. A master of positioning and distribution. Akin to the legendary, someone main, named in this episode already, Sergio Busquets. A linchpin orchestrator with world-class potential, indispensable for any elite side. He has been a wonderful signing for Girona. He's impressed time and time and time again for Girona since we signed him in the first season of his career mode. Sent him to Girona. Three seasons now in, in Spain and the Argentinian looks just 
everything that you want from a holding midfielder. We lost Rodri this summer. We couldn't go out and replace him. I mean, Roberto Di Zerbi did mention Manuel Locatelli is the player he would like, a player that he's worked with before. But the club is looking at younger options. And, of course, making a deal with one of our clubs that we own, part of the CFG in Girona, would make it easier. Federico Redondo, I think you've got to keep an eye on him because if we get that transfer ban over by the end of the season, if we manage to win our appeal, then... Federico Redondo will be coming to Manchester City because he is a player we can't afford to miss out in that holding midfield role. Well, I decided to simulate the game against Leeds United at home where we came away with a 1-0 win, a clean sheet and just scraped through. A goal from Savio in the 23rd minute who gets man of the match, who doesn't get man of the match actually, it's Mateusz Nunes who gets man of the match at right back with a 9.0 rating. Mateusz Nunes has been fantastic at fullback this season and maybe that is going to be his permanent position. I'm going to end today's episode with the Champions League round of six action. First leg like away at Bayer Leverkusen at the Bayer Arena. Other draws are Roma against Barcelona, Arsenal against Paris Saint Germain, Real Madrid versus AC Milan, Leipzig versus Benfica, Atletico de Madrid versus Juventus, Inter versus Borussia Dortmund, and Olympic Marseille versus uh, Bayern Munich. Massive ties throughout the round of 16. Big clubs wherever you look. Well, this is the Bayer Leverkusen side. The Xavi Alonso side lined up in a 3 4 3 shape. Unai Simon is the starting goalkeeper with Debast, Jos Maria Jimenez and Jules Koundé signed from Barcelona in that back three. Lorenzo Pellegrini, the captain, and Florian Wirtz sit in the midfield too with Aravena and Jeremy Fringpong, the wing backs. Arur and also Balzdini support Darwin Nunez, signed from Liverpool up top. We've got Asmoon, Arter, Teller, Hoffman, Beto, Grimaldo, and Bono on the bench. They've won two, lost two, and drawn one in their last five Champions League games. You can see there, they offer an interesting challenge. They're very balanced in their approach. Equally comfortable in and out possession. Out possession, they defend with a low block. Happy to surrender possession until the ball is in their defensive third. They're naturally cautious and wait for the right moment to engage to win the ball back. But when they do win the ball back, offensive-wise with Xabi Alonso's style, style of play, they're always making sure they keep a disciplined shape and build attacks patiently. They're happy to wait for penetrating well-timed runs from their strikers before releasing passes in between and behind the opponent's defensive lines. They've got no key attacking play, defensive players, surprisingly, but Darwin Nunez and Florian Wirtz, the key attacking players to look out for. This is Roberto Di Zerbi's Manchester City side. We do really need to change the programmes even more of Kuto, De Bruyne, Rico Lewis. I mean, look at them. They're not even sharp at all yet. Edison starts and goal with Jan Kuto, Stones, Vardial and Doyle at the back. Four. De Bruyne, the captain, Grealish and Luca Lewis in the midfield. Three. It's Alvarez up top with Docker in the right and Musiela on the left. Zabayos, Echivede, Makati, Zubamendi, Nunes, Barco and Goyi will drop out for Max Elaine on the bench. Well, here we are, Champions League, Bayer Arena in Leverkusen. Manchester City take on the German side. Florian Wirtz, key man. Musial returning to his, his home country of Germany. This is going to be an exciting one. Only the first leg. And what a tie we have drawn here in just the round of 16. Jan Kuto steps out. Darwin Yenith with a really heavy touch here. Trying to get a shot off. Pasty De Bruyne into the side netting from Darwin Yenith. The one thing we do know about him is... He's finishing. He's very poor. Nice little one-two with Florian Wirtz thing that was. Pellegrini. Through to Darwin Nunez. Across to Aaron. Good save by Edison. Massive save from Eddie. City starts shaky here. Vardy with a tackle. Can't stop it. Edison does keep it out. Needs to get all the ball here, Manchester City. Needs to get all the ball here quickly. Bruyne away. Doyle with a tackle in the box here. And Edison's beaten by a tame shot. A very tame shot. And Jose Maria Jimenez, the Uruguayan centre-back, beats Edison and scores for Bayer Leverkusen, who take the lead in the Champions League. And it's embarrassing goalkeeping from Edison again. As we've seen twice in today's episode, beaten by a shot that he should not be beaten by. Grealish. Rico Lewis back to Grealish. Joshko Vardiol. Into Jack Grealish. Good find. Grealish. De Bruyne. Kevin De Bruyne. He stood off him. De Bruyne. Great finish by De Bruyne. 1-1. 35 years of age and he's still got it. He's still got it, Kevin De Bruyne. What a finish. 1-1. Goal from the captain. Who's no, his numbers have been nowhere near the same in the last season. He's playing a deeper role under the Zerbi. But he's still putting up pretty decent numbers. And he's still scoring important goals and getting important assists. And that's another one for Kevin De Bruyne there. City. Stones wide to Jan Kuto. De Bruyne. 
Back to Yan Kyuto. Alvarez onto Jeremy Doku here. Doku. Doku past his man, Doku. Alvarez! City score, but he's offside, Alvarez. It was meant for, for Jack Grealish. It was meant for Jack Grealish, but it went to Alvarez. Who had a good finish, actually, but he's clearly offside. That is full time. Or half time, sorry. City 1, Leverkusen 1. Just can't find the way through, City. And we've been a bit shaky at the back as well. Florian Burtz. Look at the space in the middle here. Vardiol tries to stop that ball going into that space. Did do initially and he wins it back, Vardiol. And he goes wide to Yamamusiela. There's trouble here for Atletico. Madrid form Atletico, Madrid man. Musiela, good running by Musiela. So powerful. Musiela, so powerful. 2-1 Manchester City. So powerful. And when he got going there, Musiela, you just knew you weren't going to catch him. 2-1 Manchester City. Brilliant from Yama Musiela. Drive and drive and drive. Kunde, Jimenez, the Bast, nowhere near the German. And City in front now in Leverkusen. Grealish. Grealish loves to hold on to it. Back to De Bruyne. Standing off him. De Bruyne! Oh, big save from Unai Simon. You cannot stand off Kevin De Bruyne. And they've done that a few times today. De Bruyne in. In there for John Stones away. Vardiol. Back to De Bruyne. Vardiol. Musiala. Musiala blocked handball referee. Corner ball. I thought it was a free kick. His byline. The bass stays with him. Jan Kuto. In there. Alvarez. Alvarez! Oh. Tipped all the way by Simon. Good save. And the subs come on now for City. Alvarez in. Vardio with a header. Docu on the volley. He actually headed it, didn't he? He didn't volley it. Planned for him to volley it. Come on, Musiala. Against Frimpong. Pass Frimpong. Brilliant from Musiala. Musiala still. Musiala still. Doyle. Zubimendi. Martin Zubimendi! Big save by Simon. Why to Doyle? Here is Musiala. Musiala. Into Alvarez! Off the post! Oh! How is it not 3 or 4 1 here? Chances we've missed in today's episode. Unbelievable. And here's Beto past Vardio. On the pace of Beto. And Beto dinks it over Edison. And Leverkusen get an equaliser. Oh my word. How many chances have we missed again? Chance after chance after chance missed again. And the opposition team punishes on the counter. Late one by Jeremy Doku. Darwin oh, Nunez is off here. They could go and win this Leverkusen. Darwin oh, Nunez. Max Elaine can't stop it. Saved by Edison. Behind for a corner. How is this game? How have any of these games turned into this? Header into the hands of Edison. Full time whistle goes. We end the episode with a 2 2 draw with Bayer Leverkusen. How we haven't won that game in the Leicester City game today's episode, I don't know. It's so frustrating. Our finishing is a massive, massive issue. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you haven't already. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm not happy with that. The finishing is so bad. And we'll see you guys next time.